I did it. I built my own infrared head tracking mouse from scratch out of a Raspberry Pi to replace my old natural point smart nav that was discontinued years ago. Here it is attached to my computer behind me, right there. You want to see it in action? The camera on the left is tracking my reflective sticker. Watch as I move my head. I'm now going to turn PhilNav on. No hands. Left, right, up, down, and around. PhilNav works with pixel perfect accuracy at 75 frames per second and no lag, single millisecond latency. PhilNav works on Windows, as you can see, and it works on an Apple Mac. Here we go. And you're not going to believe this. It even works on Linux. Look at this. It's extremely accurate. Let's try mouseaccuracy.com with the default settings. I'm clicking with my foot pedal. Hundred percent accuracy, twenty eight clicks. It's free, it's open source on GitHub, it's DIY, do it yourself. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to build your own fill nav. Or if it's too much trouble, which it kinda is, you can purchase it from me in the link in the description below. I can send you out a fill nav fully assembled today. By the way, I also have other assistive apps if you like my software. Go to fills.app in your browser. For example, I also have a dictation app. So instead of typing, you can talk to your computer. You can find it on the Microsoft Store. And you can find it online at speech.fills.app. Let me show you. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I like drinking coffee in the morning. That's all, folks. I use both of my apps, the Dictation app and PhilNav, every single day at my job and at home. I built it for myself, but it's available for you also online. Let's start with the parts you need. You need a Raspberry Pi, an infrared camera, a breadboard, infrared LEDs, an infrared light filter, a selfie stick, tape, and rubber bands. Honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to work. I'm going to show you how to put it together. All right, let's start unboxing our Raspberry Pi. The can of kit comes with everything, the Pi itself, the case, Snap them all apart. The SD card is the Raspberry Pi operating system. Pop that in. Slide it into the case. Snap it together. And uh, plug it into the wall. Put the USB end into the Pi. And you should see a green light. Open up your breadboard. Comes with the breadboard. A ribbon cable to connect the uh, connector on one end and the Raspberry Pi on the other end. So snap that into the board. I use the little uh, cushion thing to help my thumbs. Put the ribbon one end into the board itself and the other end into the Raspberry Pi. There you go. Next step is take all the LEDs and resistors. We're going to need two LEDs. I'm using the blue ones, and I'm going to use the 10,000 ohm resistor. I'm going to show you how to make a circuit real quick. You want to go from blue to red with the resistor and the LED along the way. 
use more resistance to make it dimmer and less resistance to make it brighter. The, uh, the wires, the colors don't matter, but they will connect the circuit. So you can see here, when I unplug it, it turns off. And when I plug it in, it turns on. Now, replace those LEDs with the infrared ones and grab your infrared camera. If you have the new Pi 5, the old camera cable won't work. You have to swap out the new camera cable. That's what I'm doing right now. Snap that in. One end into the camera, and the other end goes into the Raspberry Pi. We're going to stand it up so that it's a camera that we can uh, kind of aim. And to do that, we're going to take our LEDs, shape them like that, and we're going to use them to hold the camera in place. So the camera has little screw holes, and if you put the LED wire through the screw hole, it will hold the camera in place. So I'm going to show you that uh, an up close right here. So you can see the camera is on one end with an LED on either side of it, and it's held in place by putting the pins of the LEDs through the screw holes. This is what it looks like all done with a circuit for each LED. You got to connect both. You should see a very faint light that the LEDs are lighting up. It's almost invisible to the human eye, so you got to look closely. We're now going to kind of hoist it into my selfie stick and just use the little arms to hold it up like that. And then take the visible light filter and place that in front of the camera. You can actually see the LEDs through the filter, but you won't see any visible light. And you know what? Honestly, I just tape that on with masking tape. There you go. doesn't have to be perfect. And we are done with the hardware, right? So take a walk with me. We're going to go into my office and I'll show you uh, what we built, right? So this is the brand new fill nav that we just built with our Raspberry Pi. And you can see it in just a second next to the one I've been using for the past three months. So the new one is on the left and the one I've been using for three months is on the right. And there you see what it looks like. Now I'm going to take the new one we just built over to my other monitor and we're going to set up the software now. So the hardware is done. So plug it in. And now take your HDMI cable. Again, it comes with the can of kit. Plug the HDMI into the monitor and the micro end into the Pi. And you're going to need a mouse and a keyboard for this setup because the Raspberry Pi is a computer. So plug the mouse in, plug the keyboard in, and when you turn it on, you see welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. So go through the new user wizard, select your country, language, time zone, hit next, put in a username and password. I'm going with Phil Nav. Connect to your Wi-Fi network, choose your browser, Chrome or Firefox. Download the system updates. This will take a few minutes and then restart. And when it restarts, you get this beautiful desktop. It's a full Linux computer. And uh, to test things, peel back the visible light filter just for a second because you can see the camera now. And we're going to run in the terminal RPI cam dash hello. So RPI cam dash hello. That will do a test of the camera. And there you can see me waving at the camera. So you know everything's plugged in and working. Now, go to your browser and go to github.com. We're going to download the software. github.com. When you're there, search for Phil Nav. Phil Nav. And my software is going to come right up. There it is in the middle. The do-it-yourself smart nav infrared head mouse in Python using the Raspberry Pi and the infrared camera. So the green button in the middle, the code button, click that to download my app, open up the downloads folder and extract the zip file. You can right click and extract. And now you have it on your Raspberry Pi. So close those windows and we're going to go back to the terminal. Make it bigger here and go CD downloads the tab key will auto-complete. So change directory 
downloads. Then CD filnav, and then tab to complete. And then cat, C-A-T, the readme file. And this will print out all the information you need. But the most important thing right now is the Python 3 server. So copy that. And we're going to paste that into the terminal. We're running it with verbose and with preview, so dash dash preview. It's going to complain that there's no open CV yet. That stands for open computer vision. We're going to install that right now. apt install python3 dash open CV. You can also tab to autocomplete. Uh, sorry, sudo s u d o apt install python3 open CV. Run that. It's going to take a few minutes to download everything. And when it's done, we'll be ready to go. OK, I've switched over to my main Windows laptop. I'm using a remote desktop. I'm going to run that command. All right, this black square is what the camera sees. Remember, there's a visible light filter in front of the camera. So the camera sees nothing but blackness, except infrared light. I use a headset. The infrared LEDs are shining the light at me and reflecting off of the sticker. And if you look to the left now, you can see that the camera is detecting that sticker. And as I move my head, the camera view moves as well. These motion tracking stickers, and they work just fine. I'm going to move them down in front of the camera. That's what it looks like to the camera. You can take one of those stickers, put it on your nose or your forehead. Scotch 3M reflective tape. And you can just stick it on anything. This is what it looks like to the camera. Scotch super glue. And just put the 3M reflective tape onto my microphone boom. So in front of the camera, it looks like this. It's a whole bag full. After you confirm that it's working, you can close the camera view, control C on your keyboard to close down the server. We're going to run the server again without verbose and without preview, and we're just going to let it run in the background. That's all you need to do. Oh, if you do dash dash help, so run it with dash dash help. You can see all the various options. You might have to put in the IP address of the client computer that you're sending the data to. This, I'm going to run the server with no options. It says, server, starting PhilNav. Welcome to PhilNav. I'm Phil. If running for the first time, use help and preview. So we just did that. That's all we need. You just let that run in the background forever. Mine's been running for three months now. You're going to search for PhilNav. You're going to download my software. Now, one small difference is you're going to need to install Python. So Windows doesn't come with Python installed. So go to the Windows Store. At the top, search for Python. And you can see here that I have owned Python 3.12. It is free. So you install Python. I have 3.12, and that should be good enough. You're going to open up the Windows console or PowerShell and go to the directory where you've extracted the Python file. And we're going to run, this time, the client. So python client underscore winmacnix slash main.py dash dash help. This shows you everything you can do for the client, just like the server. You can control the speed of the mouse, how smooth the mouse moves, uh, whether there's a dead zone or not, right? So if your head shakes, it won't move. Uh, how long to keep running, it could time out after a while. It can keep the computer awake for you so the screen doesn't turn off or go to sleep. And just like on the server side, you can add in IP addresses if you're not on the same Wi-Fi or not on the same Ethernet. Uh, be sure your firewall allows ports 
four two four five and four two four six. My command is this. So dash S for speed twenty one dash capital S for smoothness three D for dead zone zero point zero five W for keep awake. I keep the computer awake every minute and T for timeout three hours. I'm going to hit enter and then no hands. And the fill nav is running up, down, left, right, and around in a circle. So I hit shift F7 and now it's paused. Now I hit shift F7 and now it's working again. And you hit control C to quit. And it's done. Pair it with my dictation app and a switch or a foot pedal or dwell clicking for a completely hands-free experience. I know it's a lot of trouble. It's complicated to build it yourself. So you can always get it from me. Go to fills.app or click the link below and I'll see you next time.